What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. Today we got a Jurassic World dinosaur, the Pyroraptor from Dominion. So cool, this thing. Um, we're gonna close, focus on the face, teeth, some neck and shoulder, some of the feathers on his head. So I'm in landscape paper, use pencil and eraser for these, sketch it out lightly, hit pause if I go too fast. You can always do your ink on top of your pencil, but you can't erase ink, so I suggest pencil. Let's go eyes so center point here head is like coming across this way right and some shoulder down here right? so he'll go from like tip of his nose here all the way down right so we're going to place the eye about here so we'll go up and down like so and then the bottom of that down to there now i have seen Pyroraptor's eyes differently. There's like two different designs out there. So I'm not really sure. I looked at the trailer. So I think the one, it's like a cat-like eye. I think that's the one they went with. But there's one that's like got a red and big, huge black eye. So it's up to you kind of. So we'll go iris coming around there and then like a big, straight sort of eye here. All right, and then if you want. Eyes like so. So then eyelid line. So we're dealing with a reptile here, so he's real wrinkly. So this sort of stuff, so mine's going up and down, scales. So then again, we have this big sort of brow like area. So it goes like around his head, so we go like here. Down the front. So this is like a double whammy kind of thing. So it goes there. And then it'll come around the top of his snout here. So this is like one of those bony sort of areas that they have, right? And then the top of that, like here, and this will be sort of bumpy, kind of spiky. And then down towards the front. This then goes around the back of his head so again, you can imagine it's kind of scaly. It's nearly becoming feathers, you know? Down around his eye, there. And all these sorts of scales run down. Both of them on his nose. Like that, and then, you know, some more stuff inside here. Texture. Going around like so. It's the key with dinosaurs. Lots of texture. So, We've got like the starts of like a feather area on his top lip here, but we'll just, we'll get the shape of his head up here. So we'll do the snout first. So it goes around there. And then we have like a nostril just here. So, and then maybe like eyes around it. Another 
sort of snap line and stuff. Like that. Right, and then the mouth comes across here. Okay. And it's kind of like this bumpy kind of line. Bumps a little bit, waves. Like so. It's nearly like he's smiling now. And then he has a top layer, right? So he's got like another sort of line of scales that follows this. And you'll just break this section up into different scaly parts like that. And then the starts of this feather sort of thing is here. So this is all feather texture coming back. And like the back of his head joins the mouth. So this is all feather, right? So the bottom lip starts to go this way. And he's got like a line of teeth under here. So let's keep with her. So we've got like lots of texture and stuff here. Oh, and scars. Good few scars actually. Coming up the top of the mouth. Okay. And then there's a row of teeth that comes down from his gums here, right? So you can kind of see the gums even. But we'll just we'll go like this. Give him these sharp teeth. And they kind of get smaller as they go back. And we're going to stop the teeth, say, just it's like stops close to his eye, about here. I'd say this would be the last one. So just in here. And then we'll add like a little bit of gum in between. These kind of bumps like that, right? And then, so the rest of his mouth. So his mouth's like slightly open, right? So it goes goes down underneath these teeth a little bit here. It's all dark inside here, so you can just see like the mouth line in between the teeth. And we'll just shade in between this bottom lip kind of here. So I'll just color in between this dark because you can't really see inside the mouth. So So now here's the bottom of the chin. So we'll go, it's real thin. So like curves here, 
comes across. He's real slender sort of face. And then we have some sort of feathers starting sort of here. So then we have this sort of feather line coming onto his face here, kind of like what's up here. So kind of this spiky zigzag sort of line. The feathers. So starting here and you just add like hairline kind of texture. And this is then his neck going down all this way. This has all just far like or hairy texture. Okay. And then on his bottom lip here as well, we have sort of another layer of scales. There, like the top. Right, so his jaw, so we have feather jaw, so going up this way. So starting to go back this way now. And this has all feather texture and they kind of like one starts in the corner they overlap one another sort of Because they become so small that we can't really see. We just do just a few back here. I just add in this kind of stuff. So feathers are always tricky to draw, but if you just sort of build it up slowly. Kind of like this. Right, and then, so he's got big long feathers coming off the back of the head. And then like the bottom of the head is all sort of feathery and Furry going back this way, right? This is the neck. And we have all different layers of feather then down there, right? And the long feathers come back this way. Just come back here. Make some texture inside here. And they're like crazy long. It's like, I don't know. Like sort of peacock sort of feathers all back this way. And just to add some edge lines to that.
we just keep doing this kind of back that way and you add these sort of feather texture lines on each one. that right and then the rest of his neck so it'll go like to join his body it's kind of smoother here right? So, right, and then we add, so like some more feather layers and things here. Coming down that way, and then like some lines for his shoulder and things here. So his shoulder will go sort of down this way, or maybe his elbow here. And the other side of the shoulder. Shoulder muscle line that way, another one here, and then lots of sort of feather sort of texture lines and stuff on these. So you just gotta build up your texture now. So there's, you're just adding these sort of levels of fur lines. And you can make them look like feathers. You can draw each individual feather if you want, right? So you can like build it up like this. You know, you just do kind of a V and then in the, in the middle of it, you do another one kind of thing. But you don't really need to, you can just add like lots of these. Textures as well. Building it up as much as we can. Right, and then, so a good thing to do, sort of on things like that, that this that has lots of texture, is thicken up, thickening up your edge line, right?
So what this does is it makes your texture lines, which are all on the feathers and all that kind of stuff, it makes them just seem a bit lighter. So it just makes your edges stand out a little bit more. It just helps the image, I find. You know, like in main parts, you can shadow them up, like underneath the feathers here. See, it just makes them kind of stand out a little bit more around his eyes. Anywhere you think there might be like shadow or edge going on. He's got feathers all the way down his body, but we won't be able to draw them all. But, how does that look? That's not bad, is it? Yeah, maybe a little bit more, just up here. Just sort of clumps of feathers together. Yeah, but I think that's not bad. That's how to draw a pyro raptor from Jurassic World Dominion. Dominion. <laughs> Dominion. Hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.